Thomas. Hey, Johnny, you want to go get rid of the bacon grease? Sure, Dad. I'm Dirty Larry, and you should listen to me. I know you're not supposed to pour grease down the drain, but the grease container is all the way up there. Wouldn't it just be easier to pour it down the drain? And who are you? I'm Craig the Cleaner, and I'm here to clean up Dirty Larry's lies. Don't dump that grease down the drain. It'll harm your plumbing or your neighbors. I wouldn't worry about that. The grease will clog the pipes on the way. What are the chances? You don't want to harm your neighborhood environment with a sewage leak. What are the chances? What? What's happening? You're at the Delta Diablo Sanitation District. Let's take a walk. This is where the wastewater you create goes when you send it down the sink or the toilet. Before I explain that, you first need to understand the nature of water, Johnny. The water cycle is the many stages water goes through to be naturally recycled. There is evaporation, water becomes vapor. Evaporation clarifies the water and forms clouds, which then release the water back to the earth through precipitation, or rain. The rain then is either collected or goes through a storm drain, which flows right back to the delta. Evaporation, rain, runoff. Can't we just throw stuff down the storm drains? Oh no, Johnny, that would be very bad. Let me tell you about the Delta, Johnny. This is your Delta. Yours, mine, and everyone's. And it's up to yours, mine, and everyone's responsibility to keep it clean. We can't throw out our wastewater or any other trash down our storm drains because it would pollute our Delta and harm our wildlife. Now, Johnny, I know it seems like this facility can handle everything, but a lot of problems occur before the water reaches the facility by having clogs in the pipe. That's why it's so important to make sure you don't put any fog down the drain. Fog? Fats, oils, and grease. Oh, I get it. F-O-G. Exactly. Now let me show you something really special. So where exactly are we? We're in the control room, Johnny. And I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. He works for the sanitation district. His name is Steve. What do you do? My job is to protect the environment, make chemical adjustments, and make sure that the system is trouble-free to ensure that we have sparkling, clean water. Gee, thanks, Steve. Hey, Craig, can you tell me about the Household Hazardous Waste Collection Facility? The Household Hazardous Waste Collection Facility is open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Just bring your waste, and they'll take care of it. Your waste includes televisions, batteries, old oil filters, paints, aerosols, pesticides, cleaning products, fluorescent light bulbs, and fog. All right, Johnny, time for a recap. Why shouldn't we throw things down the storm drain? The trash, it would go into the delta. What's Fog, Johnny. Fog, fats, oils, and grease. Now, let's see how the water is recycled. So, where are we? Well, Johnny, this is the primary treatment area at the sanitation facility. This is where the wastewater goes first. Hmm. The solids and sediments are filtered using gravity, 
The gravity makes them sink to the bottom, where they're then used as fertilizer. Now the water moves on to the secondary phase. Do you remember the importance of nature and water, Johnny? Yeah. Well, here at the secondary area, we try to mimic that process using biological or natural methods. Small, good microorganisms eat the nutrients from the water, making it 90% clean. Wow, I guess that's where most of the water is clean then. You see, Johnny, after the biological process, we move on to a step called clarification. This is where the microorganisms are separated from the water, clarifying. Now Whoa. we move on to disinfection. What's disinfection? Well, disinfection is the area where I'm taking you now. These are called contact tanks, and that disinfects it. And now here we are at the tertiary area. You smell that, Johnny? No. Exactly. That's the smell of wastewater victory, my friend. Oh. Now. This is actually the cleanest water in the entire plant. Wow. From here, it can go to different places. One, to water your local parks, or two, to local power plants to cool off machinery. Well, Johnny, did you enjoy yourself? I did. Good, because it was fun and educational. Oh, oh. Craig, Craig, what is it? It's Larry. Unclean water. No. I'll try to live up to your expectations. You will. No! That's it. Dirty Larry is going down. That's it, Larry. It has to end. You're right. Join me on the dirty side. Why should I? It's the easy way. One person can't change anything. The Delta's already destroyed. Maybe one person can make a difference. Maybe if my family, maybe if my friends help me, we can save the Delta. I, one man, can save the Delta. I never thought of it that way. I never had any family or, or friends. Maybe I can make a difference. You can. Yes, I am, Johnny. You know why? No. I'm alive because of the goodness in your heart that you believed you could change and clean the Delta because you were just one person, one person that believed the clean was more important than anything. All right, Johnny. Time for another recap. What is primary treatment? Primary treatment, where sediments are filtered from the water by gravity. Okay, then. What happens during secondary treatment? Secondary treatment. That's where good microorganisms clean the water. You're a smart guy. What happens during tertiary treatment? Tertiary treatment, where the microorganisms are clarified, filtered, and the water is recycled. You got it. You really know your water recycling. What do I do now? Well, Johnny, it's time for us to part ways. Oh. Just follow the water. Follow the water. I will. Not again. Ah! Ah! Hmm, what's this? I told him to get rid of this. You, you can, can still, still save, save the day, day, Johnny. I think I still have a chance to stop it. What's wrong? It's bad for the environment. I didn't know that. Well, now we know. Now we all know. <laughs> <laughs>